Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi Decentralized Finance tutorial. Today we are going to learn how the APR is being decided on PancakeSwap farms, yield farms, and what is the multiplier and the liquidity, what it all means and how it's being calculated. But first, if you are not familiar with PancakeSwap and how it works and Binance Smart Chain, please check out the links below in the description and I'll put some links for previous videos where I explain what PancakeSwap is and all the background that you have to know. Also, if you want, check out my channel, subscribe, click on the icon of the bell and make sure that you see all the tutorials that I have here to teach you about DeFi, Decentralized Finance, on Ethereum, on Binance, on Polygon and many other things. So make sure you are subscribed. Um, if you are not familiar with PancakeSwap, again, you can check out the videos, the previous ones, uh, all the fundamentals. So in this video, I assume that you already understand what are farms, what is PancakeSwap, what is Binance Smart Chain, how to use it, what is uh, MetaMask and all these kind of basics. So today we're going to focus and understand how the APR is being decided on the Pancake Farms and what is this multiplier and liquidity means. So as we can see, you, we have different farms and the APR is being changed all the time and the APR basically means uh, what is the yearly revenue that you're gonna get by staking the liquidity pool tokens in the farm. So in that case, in Cake BNB, basically you buy liquidity pool tokens of 50% Cake, 50% BNB, and then you stake them inside the smart contract, the master chef in the farms. And basically, let's say you put thousand dollars worth of Cake and BNB and you stake it here, you will get an extra 56.55% yearly income. Most of you are already familiar with it, but now we are going to understand how it all works. Basically, Pancake Swap incentivizes you to provide liquidity and giving you cake tokens that right now, uh, one cake token worth $15.5 and it's always being changed, it's volatile asset. So in that case, if I put $1,000 in cake BNB, I will get 56.55% yearly in cake tokens if you click here on the small calculator you can see the daily weekly monthly and yearly apy when you compound it it gets much more it gets to almost 76 percent so how is it being decided basically the two um, parameters that influence the apr and and change it is one is the liquidity and second is the multiplier every farm that pancake swap team the developers every farm that they, they add uh, has some kind of fixed amount of cake that is being given to the farm to the people who stake tokens in the farms this price is fixed amount fixed cake tokens but the only value that changes is the multiplier the multiplier here so let's say every farm gets one cake okay so if you see multiplier 2x it means that this flower I, i'm not saying that every farm getting one cake but this is just for the example so it will be more understandable so if jgn bnb for example uh, gets one cake every farm gets one cake so 2x multiplier means that for now this farm gets two cakes every block every single block that is being mined we know that every block is being mined in Binance Smart Chain around 4-5 seconds, which means that every farm in JGN BNB will get 2 cakes every block, every 4 and 5 seconds. So all the people who provided liquidity, it will be the fixed amount multiplied with the multiplier. In that case, in DFT BNB, it will be, for example, 0.5 cake. In Cake BNB is 4x, which means it's 40 cake. It's not 40 cake because we just took an example of one cake. The number is different, but you have to understand that every farm has this fixed amount of cake multiplied by the multiplier. Okay? So if we go back to the JGN BNB example, let's say you provided liquidity to JGN BNB. You with other people provided this liquidity, which means that the rewards, the cake rewards are being divided among all the liquidity providers. So let's say for the example, let's say there are two cakes every block. So it's like mining, if you are familiar with mining pools, if you mine Ethereum or Bitcoin with a graphic card or ASICs, you have a pool and the rewards of the pool are being divided to all the liquidity providers 
um, related to the amount of the liquidity that they provided related to the total liquidity. So in that case, let's say um, there is $6.6 .6 million in total in the liquidity and I provided, uh, let's say $1 million, which is around 20%. So from these two cakes, I get 20%, which means I will get how much 20% of uh, two cakes. Do the calculation later, but basically it means that my share in the contract, let's say, let's take maybe a simpler example, uh, this DFT BNB fund. So here we see that there is 1.6 million dollar uh, liquidity, which means that if I will put uh, one, let's say half, so one, 800k dollars in the liquidity in the farm I will lock it then I will get half of the amount so all the farm let's say get half cake so I'll get 0.25k so this is basically what uh, decided the APR is being decided upon the amount of liquidity that is being provided and is being locked in the smart contract in the specific farm and the multiplier okay so the higher the multiplier the higher the APR will be and the higher the liquidity that is being locked, the lower the APR will be. Because the more people provide liquidity, my share in the pool will be lower. Therefore, I will need to share my rewards with more and more people. The multiplier basically is being decided by cake uh, team, by packet swap teams, and they adjust it all the time to do, to do it in the most fair amount and to provide uh, enough liqu enough uh, rewards so it will be profitable for people to lock with liquidity for example if we look at a cake bnb farm we see that the multiplier is 40x which means that these farms get much more cake related to other farms but in that case we see that it's much more liquidity locked in the smart contract because cake and bnb are assets that people uh, probably feel more safe to hold for long term and they want to get rewards by providing liquidity. So you see that there is much more liquidity locked inside Cake BNB. There is almost billion dollars, $600 million, $625 million, much more than JG and BNB because probably people uh, trust more Cake and BNB for the long term and they don't care hold the tokens and provide liquidity. So Packet Swap team want to incentivize if if the multiplier was not 4x, the APR here would be very, very low because uh, if it was maybe 2x divided by all these liquidity providers that lock their funds in the smart contract in the farm, my share will be very, very low and the APR would be much, much lower. That's why PancakeSwap team are willing to give more cakes. The multiplier is much higher for this farm because they want more and more people to provide liquidity for cake and BNB. So when people swap cake and BNB, they will get their trade in a better price. The, the slippage will be lower. Let's take another example. So if we look uh, on HDB, HTB.BNB and JGN BNB, if we compare these two farms. So in order to understand our uh, idea, we can see how actually the multiplier and the liquidity influence on a direct manner on the APR. So in that case, we can see that HTB BNB, the multiplier is 1x and JGN BNB is 2x. The amount of liquidity in HTB BNB is uh, 2.3 million dollars and JGN BNB is 6.6 .6 million dollars. It's almost 3x. So if we open, um, let's open, oh, let's do it right here. So let's say that uh, this is 2x, but the liquidity is 3x. So the more liquidity HTB BNB will have, the APR will get lower. So actually in JGN BNB, uh, you can have more liquidity and the APR will be higher because the multiplier is 2x. Usually when PancakeSwap add new farms, they set it for 1x or 2x multiplier for the first two days, first 48 hours to incentivize more and more people to add liquidity. And after two days, the multiplier will get uh, divided by half. So if, if it started with 2x, it will be 1x. If it started with 1x, it will be 0.5x. So this is usually how they announce new farms and how they add new farms. That's why usually you see new farms, the APR will be higher uh, in the beginning because one, there is not a lot of liquidity because it's a new farm and people adding liquidity more and more. The more liquidity that is being added, the APRs will get lower. And two, secondly, the multiplier usually get uh, 
reduced by half after two days because that's what the developers decided when they launched the farm. So in the first 48 hours, for example, this multiplier is now 2x, but um, it will be, uh, you can see actually if you go to the help button here, to the um, over help button, the multiplier represents the amount of cake rewards each farm gets. For example, if a 1x farm was getting one cake per block, a 4x farm would get four cake per block. That's, that's exactly what I just explained to you. But the multiplier is being changed and adjusted all the time by developers because they want to incentivize people to hold and stake liquidity pool tokens to pairs that have a lot of volumes. So the pairs that people want more to trade, they want that people will provide more liquidity. So they adjust and the multipliers are being changed all the time. So this is my explanation of how APR being decided, how the yields and the rewards are being decided. Again, it's, it's dependent on the liquidity. The more liquidity, the lower APR will be. And also the second parameter is the multiplier. The higher the multiplier, the more APR will be. The multiplier is basically the way of the PancakeSwap team to adjust the APR so the, the farms will be uh, enough interesting, enough uh, tempting for the people to invest and lock their funds and provide liquidity. So this is the summary of all this kind of idea. And I hope that you guys learned a lot from this video. And if you did, don't hesitate to like it and share it with your friends that they can also learn about DeFi and PancakeSwap and earn passive income and learn the future of our world. If you have any questions, if you don't understand something, please feel free to ask questions in the comments below and I will try to answer to every single one of them. Thanks again for joining me, join ta Johnny Time, until the next time.